Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Cloudy Sheep and we are playing Rule the Waves. We are still in the war against the UK so I thought it w would be fine for us to, to uh, cheat a bit and uh, go beyond the uh, timeline of the game. Although of course by 1926 you know things like flight and, and so on are getting increasingly more important so it's not maybe entirely appropriate to, to think about only battleships anymore. But on the other hand, you know, I think it's if we are pretending that, that we are the big admiral or fisher or whoever, um who's leading the navy, maybe you don't change that right during the um during the war. War is in fact going pretty well for us. Uh, we sank a battleship, a battle cruiser. Uh we had a bit of a chaotic nighttime engagement last time around. That should be fine. Uh, we're also very close to seeing our very nice little Monroe-class battlecruiser here with the 914-inch guns um, and a bit better armor belt uh, really coming into play very soon. Um, the Rhode Island class here has been halted. And of course you guys actually pointed out that if we open this design that maybe the aft superimposed, no, the, yeah, the aft superimposed turret um, at 3,000 55 tons and um, was maybe a bit not ideal that there was in fact aft center line superimposed. And in fact it's it's a hundred tons cheaper. I wonder why that is and whether that is truly by design. I I really don't know. Oh well. For now it should be fine. Just, just close it. Um, okay, so for now it should be fine. Um, I don't think that we'll see the Oklahoma classes um, coming into play at, at all. Um, well, these two ships. I think we do have some of um, Oklahoma classes which are really a very high leap. Yeah, yeah, the Oklahoma City class. Uh, a big leap in our like cruiser design. 10 6 inch guns on turrets. So that's a big shift uh, to what we have so far. Other than that, I think it's fine if we briefly remind ourselves that the Lexington is um, damaged, as is the Sioux class. I'm really kind of in love with this little with this little ship. Um, I mean, we designed it for a very specific task, which it did fairly well uh, as a light cruiser destroyer, and um, with the six inch, nine, six nine inch guns um, at the front. Um, but it even pulled well beyond its weight um, and actually saved us in one of the bigger battles in the game. Right then, let's look at the position of the UK's forces and uh, on ours as well. So a lot of our heavy cruisers are over here where the Brits don't even have a base, which I think is fine. I don't need, really need to challenge them everywhere. Singapore unfortunately did not went our way. So I think sorry, I think the west coast, the Caribbean and the east coast, so sort of the classic of the ages. We have also a couple of well, one battleship in the Mediterranean. But I don't really like to send forces there it's sort of an awkward way. So they have one battleship in the Caribbean where there is still fighting going on. I have a battleship um, in on the east coast and a battle cruiser on the west coast. What else have we got then? Um, we have a couple of ships on the east coast, including the Nevada class. Well, that's pretty old actually. Yeah, but at least it has um, 14 inch guns, so I think that should be fine. We have the Oklahomas who are going from the East Coast to the Caribbean, that's fine. We have the Pennsylvania still in the Caribbean. What have we got on the West Coast then? Just two... Just two battle cruisers. Three battle cruisers, including the Jefferson. And you won't know what? I think that's fine. We don't really need a battleship in the, um, on the West Coast against their battle cruisers. I know it's one of their best battle cruisers. I think we've we've spotted it at one point, and it's probably one of these guys over here. Um, and these really, you know, 10, 16-inch guns. But you know, if we have three ships um, engaging them, that would be fine. I 
thing. So all in all, I think it's going pretty well. So we will take the turn. Ooh, advanced director. That's very interesting. Bit tactics. Not that important. Battles. Little battles. Raiding, raiding, raiding. Convoy attack. Large. Three battleships against one and a battle cruiser. And a pre dreadnought? I don't think so. But. Ah, oh, they decline. Cowards. Yeah, but we are playing the coastal raid. So that is fine as well. We got the Lexington. A pretty rudimentary battle cruiser, I would say. But that, that's fine. These light cruisers we will tend to scavenge out. Providence. Providence class. Oh yeah, I think the last one before the... Or one of the last ones before the... Let's go ahead then. Um, before the uh, refit to turrets on light cruisers. Or center line turrets, I should say. Right, so... Um, we're not guaranteed to spawn anywhere near them. So I think it's fine if we... Accelerate time somewhat. Oop. And there we go. Okay, so we're gonna grab the battle cruiser max speed. Just go to this direction. It's supposed to be a battleship, is that correct? Let's see our engagement range. It is. Stop. Stop. So what we got? Um air resolution class. 10 12 inch guns, 10 and a half inch belt armor. We got. We got. <coughs> less 10 inch, 12 inch guns, less armor. Should we really take this fight then? <coughs> Quality zero. We need to go down to 15,000 to even penetrate. Oh no, sorry, they have 8 inch, uh, eight 12 inch guns on each broadside. Because their stupid layout. You know, given that, I think we can take the fight. Let's see. Yeah, I think we can go this way, probably. That way. Well. After it should really come into action now. Yeah, there we go. So we are firing eight guns on him. He's firing an unknown number of guns on us. He's a bit too far away to be scoring hits really well. But we should be able to close the distance fairly well. We are starting to fire on him now. Eight, in, eight guns. He's firing two on us. Nope, he's firing eight on us. But we are scoring hits, he does not. Well, that's very nice to see. Did we disable something? We did not. Yeah, but we... Mm, secondary battery hit. Should be fine. Yeah, two guns disabled, but... And there we go. How can they be so accurate? I mean, we even have accurate training. Two hits on the turrets, which have 11 inch armor. Okay, well, gotta withdraw. Maybe we can get our guns back into action, but until that point. Oh no, they are scoring a lot of hits on us. Resolution closet, that's nice to see. Lexington hits. Yeah, our oh, guys actually automatically um, laying smoke. Um, you guys here. Maybe. Ooh. A bit more proactive in getting away. Lexington. Well, your off guns are back in action. How about you? Hmm. Well, we can dial down a bit on the speed. Let's briefly check. Structure is, is really bad. Heavy hits. Eight heavy hits. Yeah, and just one salvo 
wrecked our turrets. Front end extended up. Uh, well, let's dial down on the speed a bit, let them catch up. 15 knots. Are you catching up there? I think you are. So what we're trying to do here is get the... Yes. You go max speed to there. Planet is being hit. You're firing now. How about you? Well, they're only using one gun. Whereas we can, or one turret, whereas we can use four guns on them, so we might be able to outshoot them. Although they're still better armored, so probably not. Mm, Providence, you are going as fast as you can. You should also be trying to get away. 16 knots. 15 knots. Let's do 13. And we are back to all of our guns. So, what we're going to do is take our battle cruiser, swing it around, bring the speed up, get good broadsides on them. There we go. We should be firing with all of our guns. Yes, we are. Come on, just a good couple on on off hits on them, not on us. Belt extended. They seem to be firing so much better than we are. Um, and are we limiting flooding there? Yeah, we were. It's still all right. I mean, we're still in a good fighting position, and I do think we saw a hit on them right now. Might allow the plano here to escape. Such is bad. Flooding is bad. Three heavy hits. Critical salt water. Mm. So I think it would get away, right? What was he firing at? Plano? Is that the guns? I said no. He is firing on us. <laughs> uh, that is on the Lexing. Of course, he's firing on us. Can you slow down? No. Trading hits. I'm not sure. Be turreted. I mean, they hear that the. Are they so, so consistently out shooting us? Let's take a couple of more turns and see whether that will change at all. Whatever resolution is hit, very nice. But I wonder whether we can, you know, the British ships are supposed to be famous for <clears throat> um, oh, seven inch guns. Um, are supposed to be famous for flash fires um, originating from the handling of um, corrodite. Hands are seven inch guns scoring their heads. Ooh. Two heavy hits on them, one on us. Still like to oh, but we did take out um uh. <laughs> See I was just about to say to get all excited and say, Oh, we took out one of their turrets, but so did so we had both down to six turrets firing on each other. Um their advantage is that they could turn around, I was supposed to say, but that's not quite true. Resolution toss hit, how we doing? Plodding is bad, not that bad. I mean, there is some plotting, but it's not bad. 
No, that's a better way to say it. Um, what's his secondary armor? 14, 6 inch guns. We have 17 inch guns. And more of them. Will that help us at all against their type of armor? No, our turrets are passed through hit. That's nice to see. Engine room hit. Oh dear, that's bad. We are now at a lower speed than they are. 15 knots. Well, that's not quite true. They they are also running at 15 knots. So I think it's time to... Oh, I didn't even realize we were that close to New York. Um, go to New York. Oh, stop. Since all of our guns are back in action now, I think we'll want to use that. How about them? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. We can fire very well on them this way. Down to 64% though. There we go. Hit on them. Hit on them. There we go. That's what I like to see. Taking out their turrets. Come on. That's not what I like to see. But it's still in action, so... Yes, that's fine. They can't fire at all as, not on us now. And they're down to 10 knots, so... Perfect result. Come on. We are hitting them. Heavy damage, 15 knots. They don't seem to have any guns firing, being able to fire on towards the aft, so it's perfect. And three guns, three turrets out of action, that's perfect. If we were to be on their starboard side, so I think that's what we want to try to do here, sort of swing around. Um, we can also go a bit closer. Yeah, not quite. Well, but... Sinking! They're actually sinking. So you know what? Let's let's continue to pump them. So I don't want them to be miraculously recovering. But I don't think that they should be able to fire very frequently in this in the state that they are in, so And they are able to run faster than us. Um, how about flooding? Yeah, flooding is not great, but it's not that bad. Take five minutes here. And you know what? Let's let's come up right after them. Relaxing firing. Are you firing on these guys? I don't think you should be. Oh, resolution fast opens up on next thing. You guys, and then the AI controls juice. Can you come up sort of over there at max speed? And that was a mistake because the plano is still. Can I manually detach you or something? You are really in bad shape. And I know that. But it's fine. Oh, your front gun is out of ammo. I think it is. Although I wish they would just switch to the um, different type of firing then. It's straddled, resolution plus hit. Minimum damage. See, it wasn't guaranteed that they would actually be sinking. You guys, come up over here. Um, you come up over there. Can you cover some of your speed, please? Take five minutes over here. Resolution class hit, that's always good to see. Resolution class double hit. Very nice to see, in fact, only one turret better in action on their side. Although, of course, they still have secondary armament. Providence near hit, resolution class hit. 
resolution here. Oh, but only 400 guns now, so not that decisive. Um, can I grab you guys, please? Just try to torpedo this guy, finish him off. Six inch guns. Six inch guns. We're trying to stay behind him as long as possible, just so uh, we can make very sure that the, his guns are very ineffective against us. And I mean, we are targeting him with six inch guns, but that's really not crucial. Although there's another 12 inch hit. I'm taking five minute turns here, by the way, but the game seems to be interrupting us, so. Not entirely sure why that is, but not going to complain either. Right, um, let's actually look at our torpedo range. I think it should be well beyond that. Yeah, it is. So, here we go. Five knots. I think you should be able to launch very soon. You do have above water torpedo tubes. Yes, you do. Yeah, lots of hits. Come on. This is a good firing position for torpedoes. There we go. Thank you, that's what I'd like to see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Feels good to finish you off. There we go. I don't care. So one of our minesweepers head has hit a mine. Um, they actually fulfilled their goal, but so did we. And we did manage to sink the hood. The sinking of the hood. Excellent, excellent. So let's see uh, what was going on here. Main battery scores. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, pretty much the Lexington doing a lot of damage early on. Critical hit on the rudder damaged. Oh, I think that must have been that must have hurt them quite a bit. Actually, a seven-inch gun, so not that bad either. Rudder repaired. Well, ten minutes without, without rudder. I didn't didn't even realize that. Um, yeah, more hits, more hits. They were doing quite a lot of a lot of things with our plan, out, but it should be fine. Oh well, it did that turn out to be fine. Turret hits and yeah, just a lot of hits. Heavy hits, twenty three heavy hits, and of course the torpedoes hit that ultimately sunk it. I believe. Excellent, so let's leave the scenario, let's um, There we go. Um, let's eat our juicy points, let's have a look at things over here. So the Lexington is heavily damaged at three, um, three uh, turns out of action, but it does also mean that by now the Great Britain is down to four battleships and five battlecruisers. Granted, the battleships that they do have are the Resolution class, which is a mini, um, and more importantly, the Revenge, 14 14 inch guns, and the renowned 10 16 inch guns. So, at least the later two really formidable animal, uh, um, <laughs> enemies. Um, but yeah, so I like to see that. Um, let's say they shifted a lot more forces at that, or they kept, I guess, forces in the Caribbean. Um, we might very soon think about uh, venturing into their home zone, just blocking them off. Uh, but I do think that we'd want to win in Jamaica first. Maybe get rid of this battle cruiser on the west coast. Um, that's really pestering me, uh, because it's keeping a lot of our forces over here. Maybe we could ignore it and send our guys down here. Um, but um, um, I would like, you know, it's, it's pretty isolated, so Maybe we can get it. Do we have enough destroyers on the west coast? I believe we do. These Spain bridges are not exactly perfect for the job, but I think if we were to get in a similar scenario, we could, um, you know, just heavily damage with our um, own battle cruisers, then come in and, and finish them off if possible. So that should be fine. Next thing we need to think about is whether we want to um, take advantage of the advanced fire control and what we want to do about that. Um, I think we'd probably want to wait until we get the Monroe. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe build a couple of rebuild a couple of our things. I can actually rebuild you while you are at um, 
while you're docked. So go to advanced director. Everything else seems to be fine. I don't think there's any need to rebuild any of these guns or any, anything like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pretty straightforward refit. Increased elevation is there. Director, all of that seems to be fine to me. So let's just save this. Thank you. Can I rebuild the Lexington itself while it's docked? Apparently I can. So win-win situation. Um, but I think you know we have to take these in one by one. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about continuing the war uh, later than 1925. I think it should be fine. I don't think it's going to last that much longer. And then we have going to have a look at a brief look at uh, how the game all in all played out. So thank you guys for watching and to see you again next time. Bye bye.